Hello and welcome. My name is Sahan Chalabi and I'm a solutions engineer for Cisco Secure Connects. In this video, we're going to be doing a very brief overview of the solution. There are three major overarching use cases. These are between secure internet access, site interconnects, and secure remote access. For secure internet access, IT administrators are able to enhance internet security for their users, private applications, or IoT devices with cloud-based advanced protection from malware, phishing attacks, or other threats for both in-office and remote workers. Site Interconnect allows organizations to drastically simplify their architecture and provide full end-to-end -end connectivity. We're able to connect our sites, users, and applications with native Meraki SD-WAN, Catalyst SD-WAN, or standard IPsec VPN support. Secure Remote Access allows you to securely connect your remote workers to your private applications that are hosted in your data centers or private clouds through client-based or client-less accessibility methods. Administrators can then apply policies by user identities or groups to ensure at least privileged access to private applications are provided and also help organizations start shifting towards a zero trust architecture model. The first of our key components we're going to look at is secure internet access for users on network. This is where you might have an appliance at a location which you've connected into our service, where we have a secure path in order to send that traffic into our cloud. From here, traffic then passes through our DNS layer security before hitting the cloud firewall. And then from there, traffic will take a couple of different paths. If it's non-web traffic, it simply passes through our service to its final destination. And if it is web traffic, we can then pass it through our secure web gateway, as well as tertiary services like CASB and DLP. For users who are off network, we can leverage the umbrella roaming module within secure clients, formerly AnyConnect, to have DNS and web requests redirected to our cloud service, where they can once again pass through those DNS and SWIG policies that we have configured. For Site Interconnect, we'll connect one of our locations once again through some form of a VPN tunnel in order to get traffic securely into our service, where it's then forwarded to the cloud firewall. It's from here where we would then put it through our backbone or our interconnect before finally being forwarded to its destination, depending on wherever the resource that you're trying to access lives. Our VPN as a service allows users to connect to one of our points of presence using the AnyConnect module within secure clients. Traffic is then passed through to the cloud firewall and depending on the destination can take up a couple of different paths here. In addition, we are also able to implement traffic steering. So if there are any instances where you want to split traffic away from the cloud service, you are able to do so. The clientless ZTNA method, sometimes referred to as browser-based access, allows organizations to provide users access to web applications without the need for having to install an agent on the end user's machine. From here, users would open up their browser, browse to an external URL that we would generate. From here, they would hit our ZTNA proxy before being put through our interconnect backbone and forwarded to wherever that resource lives. Last but not least, we have client ZTNA. This is where we're able to leverage the new zero trust access module found within secure clients in order to provide access for private applications to our users without the need for having to form a VPN tunnel. It's from here where the module will forward traffic to our ZTNA proxy before forwarding it through our interconnect and then to its final destination based on wherever that resource lives. Now for the licensing. There are two different packaging options that Secure Connects can be purchased in between Foundation and Complete. The Foundation license offers the secure internet access and site interconnect use cases we looked at earlier, with Complete doing the same, but then also adding the secure remote access use case as well. Between these two packages, we can start to mix and match these depending on how many users we might have, say, working in a hybrid state, as well as how many users might simply be working, say, behind a site or a location which we've connected into our cloud service. In addition to the packaging option, there are two different licensing tiers that Secure Connect comes in between Essentials and Advantage. Now, these bullet points aren't meant to highlight everything that's different between the two licensing tiers. If you would like a full breakdown, please visit the cisco.com website to take a look at the product offering for Secure Connect. But we'll start to use these bullet points in an example that we have coming up on how you might decide which package and licensing tier is suitable for you. 
So we've taken a look and we know that there's a difference between foundation and completes as well as essentials and advantage. Let's see how this plays out in an example. Let's say, for instance, that you're an organization looking to implement advanced web security controls, as well as prevent the exfiltration of data, adopt a zero trust architecture model, and you need to support a hybrid workforce of 10,000 users. Now, looking at these requirements, the implementation of advanced web security controls could just be summed up in the functionality that we have within the secure internet gateway. But the prevention of exfiltration of data seems like it would fall in line with, say, data loss prevention, which is only available in the advantage tier. As we're unable to mix and match between essentials and advantage, we can start to disclude the licenses that fall under essentials. The next consideration to take into account is the hybrid workforce. We don't necessarily need to have all 10,000 of our users using that complete package. We can start to split the licenses as such, so if our 6,000 users that are always working on site will be protected there, and the 4,000 hybrid work users will start to be able to leverage some of the remote access services that Secure Connect can facilitate. How can you get started with Secure Connect? I'm going to head on over to the documentation.meraki.com website, and from here I'm going to scroll on down to the Secure Connect tile that we see over here. I'm going to scroll a bit further down and we'll see another tile for getting started. It's from here on the getting started documentation page where we can start to break out with the hyperlinks to different types of documentation pages for different steps that you will take in order to actually provision the solution. A bit further down, we also have a pre-onboarding checklist that you may want to go through in order to ensure that you have all of the information and data that you'll need in order to start provisioning the solution. That's all that we have for you today. Thank you very much for joining and all the best. Take care.